right, before we go on, I do want to show you a few pictures just so you have some other understanding. This is a real picture of her as um, a child. Here she is um, as an adult. And you can see the um, skin condition that she has. Is this, and I pulled it up so we can pronounce it correctly. Vitiligo. 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 Okay, so she has vitiligo. Um, here's somebody else. This is not her, but here's somebody else that has it on their face more. And this is a ballerina. The skirt is called a tutu. And these are the shoes that she was talking about, the point shoes. So we go back to here. Okay. So instead of glorying in glittery tutus and bodices that had drawn her to ballet, she covered herself up whenever possible with turtleneck sweaters. One day, De Prince asked one of her ballet teachers if she thought her skin condition might hold back her career. The teacher asked her what she was talking about. She hadn't even noticed the pale patches on her skin. She had just been watching her steps. That was a significant moment for her. But she says, being a black ballet dancer is hard, even in the US. She thinks the problem is that in the corps de ballet, that's the group of ballerinas who are not soloist, girls are supposed to look all the same. Well, I guess that's true. If you're black and everybody else is white, you will not look the same. It is a challenge, she says. If you look at ballet companies, you won't really see any black girls. You might see a mixed race girl, but there are only one or two black soloists in the whole U.S. Now 17, at the time of this article now, she is older than that, De Prince recently completed a tour with the Dance Theater of Harlem, many of whose dancers are African American or mixed race. I have become more upbeat. I used to be very shy, she says. Now I've grown up and I'm so happy with the thing with the way things are turning out. I don't know if this will play for us. It will not. So I just do want to make sure you do go back to our video, our your LAP slides. I got some vocab support there. I got some notes for you. Um, if you want to learn more about, um, I'm going to start saying <laughs> the Civil War from her home country. It's there. And I'll put some other things in as well, especially when it comes to the end of the week when we are writing a paragraph or doing a writing assignment. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon.